Welcome to our video on what is CAP theorem. In this video, we will dive into CAP theorem, which is a fundamental concept in system design. You are watching Consultant Bot. If you're looking for practical tips and advice on technology that you can actually use, you are in the right place. The CAP theorem is also known as Brewer's theorem. Now let's look at what C, A and P stands for. First is C for consistency, second is A for availability, and lastly it is P for partition tolerance. When you are designing a system, ideally as an architect you are looking for all of these attributes in your database. Now let's understand what each of these imply for your database design. First is consistency. It means that every read operation in a distributed system returns the most recent write result. In other words, all nodes, servers, in the system see the same data at the same time. In simpler words, when a user performs a read operation, it is guaranteed that the system will return the latest data, reflecting all the writes that were completed up to that moment. Consistency requires a form of coordination or agreement among the nodes to ensure that data is synchronized across replicas. This can involve mechanisms like two-phase commit or consensus algorithms that ensure all nodes are updated before the data is made available to clients. Ensuring strong consistency can lead to higher latency, especially in geo-distributed systems, because all nodes must confirm the latest state before any read or write operation can proceed. This might result in delays or blocking operations if there is a network partition. Next is availability. It means that every request, read or write, made to the system receives a response, even if it is not the most recent write. The system is available for read and write operations regardless of the state of individual nodes. In simpler words the system guarantees that it will always respond to a client's request. This response could be the latest consistent state or an older, potentially stale version, but the system does not fail or become unresponsive. To maintain availability, distributed systems often replicate data across multiple nodes, so even if some nodes are down or unreachable, others can still serve requests. Prioritizing availability can mean that the system may serve stale data during network partitions because it avoids coordination among all nodes. This is particularly useful in applications where user experience and responsiveness are critical. Lastly, it is the partition tolerance. It means that the system continues to operate and maintain its guarantees even when there are network partitions, which means situations where some nodes in the system cannot communicate with others. In other words, in a distributed system, a network partition occurs when there is a communication breakdown between different parts of the system. This could be due to network failures, hardware issues, or other faults that prevent nodes from syncing with each other. Partition tolerance ensures that the system can continue operating correctly in the presence of such partitions. It can tolerate communication breakdowns without leading to a complete system failure. All real-world distributed systems must provide partition tolerance because network failures are inevitable in any networked environment. When a partition occurs, a choice must be made between consistency and availability. For example, a system can either remain available and risk returning inconsistent data or ensure consistency by potentially becoming unavailable. So to answer what is CAP theorem, it is fundamental principle in distributed systems. That states it is impossible for a distributed data store to simultaneously provide all three of the following guarantees which are consistency, availability and partition tolerance. As you can see in the Venn diagram below that only two of the attribute intersects each other at any given point in time. The CAP theorem also implies that under any circumstance you can have combinations of CA, AP and CP while designing your system. First combination is CP. In this case the system ensures consistency and partition tolerance but may compromise availability. If a network partition occurs, the system may choose to become unavailable rather than return inconsistent data. 
Next is AP. In this case the system ensures availability and partition tolerance but may compromise consistency. In the case of a network partition, the system continues to operate but may return stale or inconsistent data. Lastly it is CA. In this case the system ensures consistency and availability but cannot guarantee partition tolerance. However, in a real-world distributed system, network partitions are inevitable, so a CA system effectively becomes a single-node system when partitioned. Now let's look at the impact of CAP theorem on system design. First is trade-off decision-making. Under trade-off we have two scenarios. First is reduce latency with weak consistency where the systems that prioritize availability often opt for weaker consistency models, such as eventual consistency, to ensure low latency and responsiveness, even during network partitions. These are the AP systems. Next is high latency with strong consistency where the systems that prioritize consistency may experience higher latency because they ensure all nodes agree on the latest data before responding to requests. This is critical for applications where data correctness is essential. These are the CP systems. Now we move on to design for partition tolerance. Partition tolerance is a necessity in distributed systems because network failures, partitions, are inevitable. Thus, system design always considers how to handle partitions while deciding whether to compromise on consistency or availability. Next is replication and data consistency models, and here we have two outcomes. First is strong consistency, which ensures that all reads return the most recent write. This model is suitable for systems where data correctness is crucial, but often involves more coordination and potential delays. And the next is eventual consistency, which provides a weaker guarantee that, over time, all replicas will converge to the same value, allowing for better performance and availability at the cost of temporary inconsistencies. Moving on to response to network partitions. Systems must decide how to behave during network partitions. AP systems may continue to operate with potential inconsistencies, while CP systems may block or fail some operations to maintain data correctness. Lastly, it is tunable consistency and flexibility. Some distributed systems allow for tunable consistency, giving users the flexibility to choose the level of consistency versus availability based on specific use cases or operations. This flexibility is crucial for optimizing system performance in various scenarios. Thanks for watching all the way through. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up to support the channel. We have plenty of other exciting topics covered in our videos, so feel free to check out our channel homepage for more content.